So before you throw the kick, don't like telegraph, don't telegraph, you know, don't telegraph, don't let them know that this is a position for a side kick, a roundhouse, or a back kick. But right away, if I see the person doing this, then I know they're gonna throw one of those kicks. But here it is. If it's that foot that moves, if there's, a, if there's a shift, if there's a shift back, then I know for sure it's the front foot that's coming. So you don't want to telegraph anything. You want to stay right here, then bam, turn. As soon as you turn, then you kick, then come back. So that as soon as you turn, you kick, come back, okay? And you're in your position, again, a 45 degree angle. So don't stay here, stay on the side. So from here, now, turn, kick, come back. Turn, kick, come back. All right, let's go. Again, each turn, stay, kick, come back, and bump. Each turn, stay, kick, come back, and turn. Go, shoot, stay there, stay there. So that you kick, you come back. Then turn, okay? I don't want you to go fast. You don't need to go fast, okay? I want you to pause, bump, stay there. Kick and come back. Then bump, okay? Now, you may decide to kick to the base. You may decide to kick to the stomach. You may decide to kick the scrolling area. You may even decide to kick to the kneecap that you're gonna uh, attack. The point is, the point is, make sure that it's from your, your back is to the person and you kick, all right? Doesn't matter what level you're going. You're gonna go here, throw your back kick, you're gonna do the same thing. Come back here, then you're gonna throw a roundhouse kick. From this position, right away roundhouse kick, okay? So from here, immediately, bang! Ready? You go. Decide to go for Jordan Magic. You may shoot a Magic, get a Magic. Whatever it is you decide to do, right? Whatever it is that you decide to do. What I want you to do is from this position, your foot is here, right? That is the back foot. I want you to bang. That is, you gotta put your hip into the technique. To do that, you gotta pivot, you gotta pivot that back foot, right? Bum. So not just a snap, tap, not just a tap, but bum. So get your hip into the technique, your hip into the technique, your hip into the technique, okay? Yeah. 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 Very good. Now, you're going to go into a kakato ushiro mochi again. And kakato kaki again. And hajuku jura mochi. So you're, from here, you're going to throw a hook kick. A mochi. Okay? After the back kick, hook kick. Mashi, you prefer, instead of doing a high hook kick, do a middle hook kick. So you're here, your foot is right in front of you, boom, hook kick to the midsection. If you'd rather, then hook kick to the inside of the thigh. And uh, you, technically you're not supposed to strike the knee area, right? But instead of looking, up here only, you can go down right on top of the knee, right above the knee. So you have options from here to here. You have from here to here, and you have from here to here, okay? Your choice. So make sure the hook kick is in fact hooking. It is hooking. Go! You! On fighting position. You're going to execute your kakato 
going to follow up with a Jordan, Kakato. Get it. Then immediately, without dropping your foot to the ground, high school march you. So from here, Kakato Shogiri. Foot on the ground. Hook kick. Roundhouse kick. Hook kick. Roundhouse kick. Right away. Don't put your foot on the ground. Your hook, as I said, can be pound low. By the way, uh, one of the things that we don't do sufficiently is strike this area here. This area, you know, when we do the ashibari with the hand, ashibari with the foot, that's, uh, we're targeting the lower part of the body here. And so there's no reason why you can't uh, use your hook bam, to that section, to that area. You don't have to feel that whenever you throw a kick, oh, it's got to be up to the face. No, you can work the legs, and you can work the legs in different areas. Work the legs here, here, here. Uh, when I would uh, compete or fight, even in a dojo, I never just, you know how everybody's kicking me, everybody. No, it's inside, in, inside here, inside there. Outside here, outside there, Charlie horse close, Charlie horse here. Use different part of the legs, attack different parts of the legs, and use different parts of your body to do that. So, if you're comfortable with the hook being low, then do a low kick. All right, you can do a low hook kick, and as you put speed power, you're gonna find your balance becomes compromised, uh, which is good. Boom! It means your body's looking for how to balance itself depending on the speed, the power, and the direction you're going. Go! So that's perfect. That's what you want. You want your body to be able to control you given the situation that's in front of you. That's your body asking, you know, how do I rebalance myself, align myself? That's good. So it, it's, instead of being discouraged, you should be encouraged. Go! It means you're doing more. You're bringing your body to that next level. From here. Position. Now, make sure from here, from Sokto Yogogiri, hook at one foot. Again, you go out, you come back, right? So, a good Sokto Yogogiri means from, from here, you switch to here. So means from here you switch to here. Okay, let's go. So what I want you to do is from hook kick, roundhouse kick, side kick. Don't bring your foot down. And when you throw the kick, whatever level you're at, whatever you, level you're at, bam! If your knee is here, keep it here. If your knee is here, keep it here. If your knee is here, keep it here, okay? So when you're losing your balance, uh, it's, it's a good thing. Go, in the sense that your body is looking to realign. You probably threw the kick harder. You probably went too fast. You probably uh, misaligned yourself. So your body is asking, how do I realign myself? That's really... Perfect, because the more that happens, the more you're able to now renegotiate how you're going to balance yourself. When you're in a uh, moving position, especially in a combat situation when someone's in front of you, or if you're practicing with someone, the person is not stagnant in front of you. They're going to move in into the side. They're going to give you different angles. So you're going to have to readjust. You being able to readjust and keeping your balance is critical. So that's what's happening when you're finding, oh, you know, I'm a little bit, I got to, I'm losing my balance. That's okay. Just look to regain your balance. That's good. It's your body asking you to realign yourself, get your right power, your right center. How do I do that? And you're trying to figure it out. That's, you want that. I mean, you don't want that forever, but you really want that because the more power, the more speed you're giving, the more that's likely to happen. Until you get to the point where, you don't, 
you can control it regardless of the speed, regardless of the power, regardless of the less of the position or stance. Go! From him. It keep, right? Bam, bam. So make sure when you jump, down, right? 90 degrees. Don't stay up here. Go down. Okay. This is very good for your legs. Very good for your thighs. Gives you extremely strong thighs. Uh, but the benefit is that it really helps keep the agility. Um, so that uh, as opposed to the stiffness that, and, and that, that takes place when you're doing uh, leg exercises with weights uh, and it tends to slow your leg movement, this speeds up your leg movement. It gives it good resilience, good speed, good power. I need to finish your door, Jay. Shoot. From here. Kaga Joshi on your knee. Jordan. Kaga Yi. Hai Soku. Jordan Mashi Yi. Soto. Yoko Yi. From here. Bring the foot. Kaga Joshi on Mashi Yi. And here. Okay? So, once you're finished with all the techniques, you do back kick, you do a hook kick, you do a roundhouse kick, you do a side kick, and a spin kick. All right? Okay, beautiful. Everybody's so happy. Makes me happy. Now, once you finish with your spin kick, move in forward, okay? All right. Now, you did the hook kick from the front. What I want you to do now is a spin hook kick and a, a spin kick, right? So from here, you're gonna do a spin, a hook kick, then a spin kick, step forward. So same thing, except before the spin kick, the spin roundhouse, spin hook kick, then spin roundhouse. So the, the spin hook kick is used when you're very close to the opponent. When you're very close to the opponent, you throw a hook kick. It goes to the uh, jaw, to the chin, uh, face area or back of the head. That's how close you are. That can go to the back of the head. Now, one of the nice, really nice techniques on the first world championship was a guy, uh, Clark, I forget his full name, but uh, she on, uh, Bob, you know him. Clark, he was with uh, the Shigeru group and he was fighting uh, Sato. Uh, and he gave uh, one of the most beautiful spin back kick that, uh, that, 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 that you could see. A uh, spin hook kick, spin hook kick. Uh, he was close and he caught him with a spin hook kick. Uh, people don't really use that technique, uh, I noticed anymore. The uh, it used to be that we, it was used a lot. Now, uh, you don't see it. It's always a spin straight back kick. Uh, but the spin hook kick is, is an excellent technique from close up. Excellent technique. Okay. So from here, what you're going to do is throw straight back kick. Your position. A hook kick. A roundhouse kick. A side kick. And now you're going to spin into a hook kick. As soon as you're finished, then a spin, straight kick, straight roundhouse kick. You. Once you're finished with your spin kick, then one, two punch, uh, sorry, 
Once you finish with your spin kick, front kick, one, two, punch. The way we started, right? Remember, we started here. Uh, it was with the front foot going forward, one, two. This time, no spin foot comes, kick with the back foot, step forward, one, two. Okay? You! Reach! Knee. Home. She. Each. Knee. Okay. So. She. Each knee, so she. Each knee. So go down, block, come back, kokutsurachi, second shoulder on shuke, inside block, inside block. And one, and behind. Technique. So, Zenkutsu dachi, Geranbara. Kokutsu dachi, Seiken Shuron Shuke, and Mawa Shuke. Mawa Shushi. Mawa Shushi. Ai, Shi. Ni, Shi. So, Behind to behind the head, okay. Down and back, each, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, each, knee, each, knee. Hey, yeah. 